amazing. This man hasn't stopped working for about 40 minutes now. Ron Bonnert uh, has earned the right to go against our reigning king, David Callery, with games of 223 and 227. Very, very consistent so far. But uh, just got a hunch. He might need a little bit more than that to dethrone David. About a 233 uh, average, I'd say you could be right. There you go. There you see the culprit, the three, five, six, nine, covers it cleanly. Spare game has really come a long way. Ron, mm -hmm. uh, with the exception of the split in game number one and a split to open game number two, he's uh, pretty consistent with his spare shooting. Mm -hmm. There he is, Dave Callery. you go. Nice deep knee bent stays down at the line, but he doesn't get the good clean roll that uh, will take out the 10. Let's see if we can pick it up here on the replay as to what he did or did not do. Now we'll get that for you. There it is. Yeah, he went around the ball a little early. That's why. It skids a little too far. And Fair as usual. <laughs> there you go. He makes it before he leaves it. That's pretty good. <laughs> Only Dave Callery Arcane could do something like that, but both players start off frame number one with a spare. David Callery's been cashing some big tickets for several weeks, but uh, just to explain to the folks at home, he will not automatically be seated into next week's telecast regardless of what he does today even if he should win he has to requalify with every contestant that you've seen on the tube this year along with the players that have lost our roll-offs before they physically come on air those people will compete at Colerain Bowl and they're going to throw a uh, six game block I believe isn't it Jen? Mm -hmm. um. And then the top uh, four players will come into our telecast and uh, that's really where the cream of the crop comes to the top. He's got it. Not a Western poet, but uh, a little bit of a poet. <laughs> I heard some of that the other night. That's fantastic stuff. I love it. And Ron Bonner loves it. He's back on track. Second frame must be his frame to strike. 20 in the first frame, David Callery, 19 in the first frame. So an advantage automatically or immediately goes to Ron Bonner, I should say. I'd like to mention real quick, Stumps over Bridgetown on May 13th and 14th is conducting a doubles handicap tournament. And it uh, looks like a lot of fun. There's some money to be won. So head on out there, May 13th and 14th, Stumps Lanes in Bridgetown. Oh, okay. <laughs> You heard him yelling, hold. Well, I didn't think it need to hold too much. It looked pretty good to me, Ron. Let's see if we can see how good it really did look on the tube here. Let's see. Ron loves it. Here it comes. Split screen. You can watch his reaction on this. Now, he thinks it's going to go high. Watch him right here. Hold, he says. What well, does it need to hold? Perfectly in the one-two pocket. That's... So the way you want to do it every time? Dave Callery should have yelled oh, hold on that one. 4-9 oh. split wow. caused by going a little bit high on the shot. Dave Callery not, uh, not overly happy or it appears comfortable with the condition yeah, well today. He left that week 10 on the right lane uh, in the first frame, so it may have been a small adjustment that just didn't pan out. And David Callery, our reigning king, having a little trouble getting started here today. Opens in the third frame. And his opponent, Ron Bonnard, has a double working. So David's got to get started, and he better do it real quick. Hey, I was talking about that Mustang before. Mm -hmm. I found out it's a convertible Mustang GT. Sitting outside right now, Walt Sweeney in Western Hills brings us a car every week. We're not going to give it away this week. Uh, but we're going to look on to next week, and we'd really like to thank Walt for being so gracious and supporting this game and bringing us those fabulous cars every week. Each and every week he's been here, and uh, 
The automobile is on the blocks, we might say, from week to week. And nobody is really... Uh, let's see, we had, I think, seven or eight in a row the one week, but other than that, nobody seriously made a bid for it. But um, last year, as all of you will recall, Riga Kaufus gave us one of the most exciting moments in BPA King of Bowling history when he had the first 11 and on the 12th ball left an absolutely stone seven on a perfect hit. Ron Bonnert's working on a double. Right lane. Make it a triple. He doesn't look real confident. I, I don't understand that he's hitting the pocket great. Maybe something just don't feel right in his release, that he's going a little bit over the ball or something, that yeah. he thinks it's going to react differently. But Jen, you, you just said it right there, and as you were saying it on camera, folks, you might have caught it. He looked down at his hand, and he made the motion as if his wrist is breaking back, which takes a little bit off the ball. Um, and that must be exactly what he felt that uh, he's done the last two frames, because in both cases he thought the ball was going to roll high, and it held. That was a good one. More better. They were, huh? all, they, were, <laughs> they were all good, but I think in his own eyes, that one felt a little bit more like his own game. Ron. You know what I think, Ron, he has that sheer talent of when he feels that little niche in his game somewhere, you can correct it at the line or, you know, send the ball further right or left because you feel that happening. That's a lot of good bowlers, too. Oh, no. David Callery's ball, if we can get a good shot of his release here in the next couple of frames, we'll watch it. Let's see if we can pick it up on this replay. 5-7, just the ball is not rolling cleanly at all. There you see, he's coming off the side, and his wrist is broken back a little bit, too. This ball has nothing on it. 5-7 split. Fails to bring it back. I don't see the intensity that mm -mm. we've been seeing out of Dave Keller no. in the last several weeks, Jen. His confidence looks really lost this week. I hope he can get it back together just to make this a little bit of a match. He's biting that lip on this frame. Maybe that'll help. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the lip. Whoa. Oh, that lip bite didn't help either. Well, as, as you and I both know, some days you got it. Some days you don't. And it looks like one of those days for David Callery. Probably thinking about the finals. Just cashed a lot of big tickets. Enough to go on a vacation, that's for sure. How about like the song says, go down to Kokomo, huh? Yeah. Ron Bonner can basically put it away at a very, very early stage here if he uh, continues to keep the ball in play. Now, now so often, you know, we, we like Ron, we're seeing a player think he's going to go high and it holds, so he makes these corrections to wind up in the pocket, and he winds up going wide, wide. Jen. Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I love that thing. I think our fathers, but both of our fathers probably told oh, us that Oh, no something. doubt. And it's really good advice. But maybe he wasn't comfortable with what he was doing. Could be. Well, I'm, I'm sure you're right, and that's probably why he did make the uh, adjustment. And his spare shooting, again, is not that it's normally bad, but um, he's just really bringing back a lot of spares. This is match play competition. Fill the frames. Throw three or four in a row now and then, and uh, you can cash some tickets. And he's left him some difficult spares. The, the, uh, the, bucket, the bucket in the first frame, and then that spare wasn't... A, an easy one either, so that makes it doubly impressive. Sure does. He, uh, at this point, he's more than 50 pins in the lead, so he can freewheel a little bit. And normally when our players have the green light, they can throw some strikes. Moving right along today. This is it, though. This is our last week of regular men's competition. I'd like to remind you, next week is the big week where we give away a lot of cash. And we'll tell you about that in a minute. And also the gold ball, $1,200. Nobody won it, so we're going to give it away to one person next week. It's getting closer. Still not uh, right there, but... About the only thing Dave Callier wants to get close to now would be the door, I think. <laughs> he, he, he's looking to get out of here this week. But again, he's, I mean, he's going to cash a nice check. Oops. Again. Well, he picked a good week to, to be off, didn't he? <laughs> the well, last week that you could possibly be reigning as a king. 
There you see 107 or 101 in the seventh frame for David Callery. Not the performance we're used to seeing at all. And Dave, <laughs> I wonder if Dave's. This going is for a the good opportunity to mention something. <laughs> Go ahead. We're giving away four rhino balls, one on each show, two women shows, two kids shows. This is the last week that you can send those entries in. And of course, you send that to the BPA office, 1821 Summit Road. That's 45237. And as Win they, a rhino ball. And as they say on Saturday Night Live, sometimes Dave Callery is out of here. But boy, has he given us... Such a show. Just week after week bowling so incredibly well. And uh, just not having it this week. Going up against an opponent that uh, even when he seemingly throws an errant shot or one that's a little off can still strike or at worst leave a six pin going to be tough to beat and he's not going to be beat this game is mathematically history at a very very early stage Ron Bonnard has earned the right to be called king this week with some consistent scoring and some good fair shooting I'd like to thank a couple of people for coming out this morning Bob Schmidlin who's president of the Greater Cincinnati Bowling Association and Rosie Talby director of the Ohio State Women's Bowling Association those are two great associations and we're proud to have them with us today. Ron Bonnard would like to continue to strike here and he does. 610 are the two last pins you're going to see. And right here we're going to see what uh, Dave Callery finish out his uh, his game just going through the motions. Here's Ron's last shot. It was a pretty good one. The head pin and the three pin. There you see the three pin going to the right hand wall and wedging in between the six and the ten. That's what you want to see for your for your action shots anyway. Ron Bonnard has one frame left to go, so does David Callery, and he's not wasting any time. What are you looking for well, over there? Fran Ruggieri out of Chlorine Bowl uh, gave me something, and they have a tournament going on called uh, the Senior Olympic Tournament. It's brought to you by Good Sam and University of Cincinnati and the Council on Aging. And what it is uh, is a tournament for men and women age 55 and older, and this is the Southwest Ohio Regional Senior Olympics, and it's April 17th through the 29th. And for information on that, you want to call Margo Schwartz at 721-1025. Sounds like fun. Yeah, that's right. It's 721-1025. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to do that. But David. they have a, a bunch of different events. Uh, tennis, horseshoes, bowling, <laughs> golf. I think David can sign Dave up for horseshoes. <laughs> okay. Hey, he can go over to Stumps and join up on their horseshoe league, as a matter of fact. They got some horseshoes out in the back there. There you go. David Callery finishes with three in a row to retrieve a 159 game. And you heard the crowd cheering him on in the back. Nobody likes to see a good bowler not fare so well. And that they were really pulling for him. Ron Bonner gets his first strike in the 10th frame. And he's going to be in that 220 area once again. Or 240 if he gets two more. There you go. Just a walk in the park. Yeah. Ron Bonner. Walk through the park to get to the bank. <laughs> to the bank. <laughs> Take that to the bank. Ron Bonner earned it today. He yes. pulled very, very well, and he's been on the show several times. And in all of those instances, he was stopped short. But uh, not to be denied. And this is our final week. 248. Excellent shooting. Ron Bonnard, you're right, 248 earns it. He is our king for this, the last regular week. Stay tuned, we're going to give away some cash. We're going to change the way you think about hot dogs. How? With Partridge All Meat Hot Dogs, the best tasting hot dogs in town. Packed with freshness. Packed with tender, juicy cuts of fresh meat. No fillers. Introducing Partridge Hot Dogs. Hot dog! Hot dog. Partridge, everything great hot dog to be a hot dog. Hot dog. It's Partridge, fresh meat, great taste, that quality. Now appearing in the Easy Open Twin Pack. If you haven't tried Partridge, you're missing the best tasting hot dogs in town. 1-800-LOAN-YES, what's that? The Money Store's local toll-free number. 
1-800-LOAN-YES? That's the number to call for second mortgage loans. I can remember that. Don't forget, fixed rate. That's right. The rate stays the same for the life of the loan. Qualified homeowners can get quick approval right over the phone. Borrow up to $100,000 or more. Call the money store toll free. Dial 1-800-LOAN-YES. If you like a challenge, just try to find a better deal than Mazda 323. It's $1,600 less than Toyota Corolla. Its warranty covers you 14,000 miles longer than Nissan's, Hondas, or Toyotas. 323 also has their small sedans covered when it comes to overall room. And right now, it comes with $400 cash back from Mazda. $400! That's the kicker. In Greater Cincinnati, see Century Motors' Jake Sweeney and Jeff Weiler. In Northern Kentucky, see Tim Timberman. I found out one thing. You can't lose your sense of humor. I mean, you know, uh, sometimes you can get more done with humor. My dad worked three or four jobs to, to give us the clothing and the food that we needed to, to, to grow up. But that was my inspiration. Nobody's bigger than the game. Me, nobody. Learn things you never knew about Marge Schott, Eric Davis, Pete Rose. Watch Big Red Guns, behind the scenes with Chris Collinsworth, only on Channel 5. Here's your invitation to really have some fun. Try bowling! When you're sitting home in the middle of the winter, bored, you'll be sorry you didn't join a bowling league. Short-term winter leagues are now forming. You'll like it! I wanted to join, so my bowling center found me a team. Even more important, I found new friends. Come on in, pick up a ball, knock on the pins for the thrill of it all. You'll like it! Welcome back to this, the final regular week of the BPA King of Bowling, and we've got everybody out here right now. We've given uh, Nick and Paul their checks already, but uh, we wanted to take an opportunity to talk to David. After so many weeks of giving us great, great bowling, we want to thank you for that, David, and, and uh, what happened today? Well, in prior weeks, I was able to make the adjustments. Today, the oil carried down. Ron had a good shot. I was pressured into striking, and I couldn't, couldn't make the adjustment fine adjustment when you're hitting a pocket to get the seven pins or ten pins out and I didn't make them. Ron did. Well not too bad. Three hundred and seventy five dollars for your final week and good luck in the finals David. Congratulations. Ron, you were telling me before we came out here that uh, this is kind of a regular routine with you. What, uh, why don't you tell the folks? Well I've been bowling for the last four years in this and every time I've come up three out of the last four years I've finished the last week I've won. I mean I can't do nothing in the beginning. Well, well, you turn it on at the end, which isn't too bad. $750 for you and a plaque from the organization. Next week is going to be our final show. All the bowlers you've seen on the telecast and those that have lost in the roll-off will be competing, and we're going to bring that show to you at our regular time here on Channel 5. Make sure you're with us. Greater Cincinnati, BPA.